This video is for the K40 conversion to the MKS S Base 1.3 board. Obviously, this board, which is in my previous video, um, on how to wire it, and obviously, this is how to put the firmware on it. So, you're going to obviously need your board, you're going to need a SD card, a small nano one and one of these to plug it in or you can do it in different ways so anyway let's get this plugged into the computer and i already have the firmware on here anyway but i have it also on the desktop just here so what you need to do is say your card was um blank just delete both these files. Don't want to delete. But basically all you do is drag it over, drop it. Obviously it's asking for one to replace the file. And that's it. It's called firmware.bin. It's 1.1F is the firmware. So obviously once you've drag and drop onto your SD card pull out your mini SD card obviously when you're looking at your board so you've got your normal where you plug it in you've got your ethernet and obviously you've got this one at the side pop your SD card in push it in and it'll clip looking at the other side of your board you see this button click it you'll get these indicate lights flash your board will disconnect and reconnect. Your firmware will be loaded. Put the SD card back out, and that is it. Your firmware is loaded. Um, you will have some issues with um, doing a correct sizing. So if you try and do a square and stuff like that, um, it won't actually work correctly. So you will need to modify the firmware slightly once it's on the board so obviously we need to get this on the board and then once it's on the board you can edit the firmware you will need to download t2 laser to um to modify the firmware whilst it's on your board and just show you that it does connect to um it now we've loaded the firmware on there you go 1.1f and connected, ready to go. Obviously I've got a square here. I've already pre done this for the next video. Um, and I will go over, once you've downloaded um, T2 Laser for the next video, to how to modify the firmware. I just didn't want to do a real long video on this one and I'll do it in stages. The next one I'll post pretty much straight away as well. So that's how you actually put the firmware on your board and which firmware it is. I will leave a link in the description to download the firmware as well.